You know, I would do, you know, talent shows and, you know, businesses or, uh, you know, I was the one of those kids that loved to think I can uh, come up with the invention to kill ants or, or bugs and I would take shampoo and mix that with, yeah, uh -huh. with mouthwash and something, you know, that was my thing. So it didn't work out though, huh? The no, I mean, but, the, but, the, well, no but, the, and, but they had really nice hair. They really were nice. And their breath was fresh. Yeah, That's so the thing were, about it. that really interested me were like Fellini. I think Fellini had such an amazing connection with his dream life and with his subconscious. Uh, that's my interpretation. And, and to see the way the imagery came out and it was so rich that anybody could watch it and go, you know, anywhere within it and find things. Um, uh, I like Sergio Leone's uh, storytelling because he had a, a, a grandiose kind of larger than life, albeit, albeit you know, kind of sardonic look at the, uh, the Western mythology. Um, there were a lot of really wonderful storytellers, uh, but that's what that, it's not the story, because we all have, you know, what is that expression, there's only seven or 12 stories under the sun? Very good. There's always a linear imperative, and that's probably why I prefer to write a novel than a screenplay, because screenplay is the old haiku, you know, the five pounds of shit in the, 25 pounds of shit in the five pound bag. Can you say shit on your network? Uh, but but I, the reason I like writing prose is because you can explore wherever it goes. You know, you say, oh, that's interesting. Look what's coming up here, and look what's coming up there. Eventually, you do have to find a discipline. You do have to put a structure on it. You have to give it a beginning, middle, and end. But I prefer to think of beginnings as kind of, you know, it's like once upon a time, that person didn't start, that character didn't start existing at that point. Yeah, we're coming into it. We're coming into a thing that's going on, and while we're going there, we happen to go back and say, oh, that person was, you know, born with one leg. I thought, I don't want to keep going. Um, I wasn't born with one leg. I wouldn't say stories. I would say the storytelling of the story, because everyone tells their own story. So I never know what story I'm going to tell. I was out once walking my dogs, and I saw a crow with one claw squished up, and I looked at it, and I went, Hookfoot. And I went back and I thought, well, how did he get that name? So I started writing and I wrote this whole thing about how this kind of character named Hookfoot got his name. The next day I saw one like a seagull and I thought Peg Leg and I wrote, you know, and then before I knew it, I wrote a whole book about Hookfoot and Peg. <clears throat> I think the interesting thing about, to me about storytelling is that it is a reflection. It's like, it's like a meditation on now, on where you are now, and what, what's happening to you now, what questions are you asking yourself now, what issues, are you, what, things, what things are you journeying, are you, are you wrestling with, and, and how, what characters or what issues come out of that, and what does it create, and like that. I, 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 I think the storytellers that most interest me, or that really interested me, were like Fellini. I think Fellini had such an amazing connection with his dream life and with his subconscious. Uh, that's my interpretation. And, and to see the way the imagery came out and it was so rich that anybody could watch it and go, you know, anywhere within it and find things. Um, uh, I like Sergio Leone's uh, storytelling because uh, he had a, a, a grandiose kind of larger than life, albeit, albeit, you know, kind of sardonic look at the, at the Western mythology. Um, there were a lot of really wonderful storytellers, uh, but that's what, that, it's not the story, because we all have, you know, what is that expression, there's only seven or twelve stories under the sun? That's all there are. So there are all these variations, permutations of those stories. The thing that changes the two variables are always the storyteller and the listener or reader. 
when, like when you do the theater, when you're, when you're performing the theater, the play remains the same. But every night <clears throat> you come there, you're different because you're different, because change is constant. And the audience is different every night. So the constant is, the, is changed. The constant isn't the story. Uh, you know, you'd interpret a story of, uh, of uh, fortunes lost a lot differently now than you would five months ago, wouldn't you? Yeah, you're talking about a haiku on one hand. You're talking about, yes, there is a discipline, there is a form that has to be found. And you want to find an economy of application that, uh, that uh, maintains the greatest degree of specificity in the execution of that application in terms of you can never be specific enough when you're telling a story. You're talking about that, but you're also talking about something that is a fluid medium. Film or tape or digital, whatever, it goes through the gate. It's in motion. And the realization of a film story is fascinating, not only for its size when it's on the big screen, uh, which is the only theatrical medium, right? The small screen is informational at best. Telling uh, of directing, which I uh, is, is probably my it's not my favorite thing to do, but it is uh, most uh, uh, all inclusive and and uh, and really gets me you know because I, I get so many creative outlets while I'm doing it. Is that you're not only telling a story of the script, but you're telling a story of everyone in the company, because what you see on the screen is just the tip of an iceberg. It's the reflection of a tip of an iceberg. And that's the other thing people don't realize, that when you're watching a movie, you're seeing the experience of people, 80, 240 people, whatever your company is, that is all banded together to focus their attention and the camera and the sound and the music.